So let's imagine here you are in a traffic jam, and all of a sudden you're overheating. It is getting really warm. 100 degrees is a bit much. We might want to shut the engine off. So will the cooling system in its current state be able to keep the engine temperature at bay? Well, let's wait for a bit and find out, shall we? Hey there, fellows. So the summer is almost upon us, the weather will be getting hot, and lots of folks will be dealing with their engines overheating. But let's figure out exactly why an engine overheats, and see how that can be avoided. Let's do this. So look here, we've done a little bit of prep. What I mean by that is we've installed a temperature sensor that gives us a reading on that gauge. The sensor itself is right here inside this hose that'll be transporting the coolant. So let's imagine here you are in a traffic jam and all of a sudden you're overheating. The idea here would be to simulate that scenario, see how quickly the temperature will rise and uh, yeah, let's fire it up just the way it is. With a four blade fan, no shroud or anything else and see how it behaves. Let's go. Okay, now we wait and see how fast it gets up to temperature. So here's the situation. The engine is at operating temperature, and the thermostat is just about open. The gauge is showing us about 80 degrees. The thermostat opens, cold water finds its way into the block. The temperature drops slightly, but of course we'll see it slowly rise back up again. And now we're about to find out whether the cooling system in its current state will be able to keep the engine temperature at bay. Let's wait for a bit and find out, shall we? So check this out, guys. The temperature is in excess of 100 degrees, and the red warning light is on. So that's how it's calibrated. And so what does this tell us? One second, let me just switch the engine off. Apparently this sort of system with just the single fan and a radiator without a shroud well, this is a common situation. While you're moving, the oncoming air is going to flow through the radiator and help cool it off. But as soon as you're stuck in traffic, the car is going to be jerking around, the engine is going to be under a lot more stress, and so obviously it'll be getting even hotter, to the point of overheating. But the shroud is not the only thing that can cause you trouble. Modern cars usually have electric cooling fans, the computer triggers them when it deems necessary, and let's not forget that you usually have two of them. Now imagine you're at the shop, they move the primary radiator away from the AC heat exchanger, and in between them you might find a very unpleasant surprise. And I mean you basically have a sort of wall in there, one that consists of fluff, dirt, and so here's what I suggest we try. We are gonna try and simulate a clogged radiator scenario. It's not going to be too difficult to do, but while we're at it, we might as well put the shroud back in to get everything more or less back to factory spec, and then we'll see what happens. Okay, we fitted the fan shroud. Now the reason it's there is for the fan to not just pull air in randomly, but to channel it through the radiator for the coolant to, well, cool. Okay, we've got the shroud in there, the radiator is clogged. Let's see what happens. Okay, fire it up and let's see how she do. Okay then. Temperature is at 45 centigrade, so it's pretty much cold. We'll allow the engine to run and let's see how the temperature changes. I feel as if it took less time for the temperature to get up to 100. Even though the shroud is in place and the fan is working, 
The warning light is indicating a severe overheating situation regardless. But I mean, I'm very much down to try one more thing here. As we all know, there is a certain trick you can use if your engine is overheating. What exactly am I referring to? Turning on the heater, of course. It is producing a lot of heat. Heater on. I just want to see how quickly that's going to cool the engine down. Well, what can I tell you? I am noticing how it's ever so slightly coming down, the temperature, I mean. We might even see the temperature go below 100 degrees. And maybe, just maybe, the warning light will go out. Let's have a look. And the light did actually go out. So the heater was able to save the day. Well, I mean, it makes sense. There is a reason why we insulate our engines in the winter. The heater pulls out a lot of heat, and the engine has a hard time warming up. But then it might come in handy in hot weather if the engine were to overheat. I doubt it'll go down to normal operating temp. But at the very least, it'll prevent the engine from overheating. 100%. Okay, guys, so check this out. If you have a cooling system that is improperly put together, like... For example, if you have the fan in place but it's missing a shroud, that will certainly lead to overheating. Clogged radiator but with the fan and the shroud in place, it'll still overheat. For the same exact reason. Not enough airflow through the radiator, insufficient heat exchange. The coolant just won't be able to release the excess heat. Now, some of you might say that we're missing something here. But I'm actually way ahead of you. At the moment, we have got a dirty radiator. And the engine is also covered in a layer of filth. And that is actually pretty important. As a clean engine can also dissipate heat. Not so much when it's covered in a layer of filth. So yeah, let's give the radiator a good clean. Wash the engine block. Start the engine once more and allow it to idle. And see how it behaves. Let's carry on. Okay, the engine is clean, and it is actually quite a pleasure to look at. The engine bay looks just the way it should. The radiator is clean, so is the engine bay. And now that everything is so nice and clean, let's start the engine and allow it to run. And see how high the coolant temperature is going to get. All right, let her rip. And in the meantime, I'm going to start the clock. We'll time how long it takes for it to get up to temperature. Let's look on. So look here, it's been over an hour since we started the engine, and as for the results, well, first of all, make sure to sub, show us a bit of support, and I am about to tell you everything. Alright, so it has been a good hour, and looking at the gauge, we're looking alright. The temperature wasn't getting any higher than 80 degrees, and at the end of the day, keeping an engine clean is the safe way to go. If you don't want to lose a ton of money, keep your engine clean. Like, clean your cooling system at least once a year. As it currently sits, the system is properly configured. The fan, the shroud are in place. The block is clean. We have air going through the radiator. And as is, the whole thing is working just like it should. The engine is not overheating. And so there you have it. When everything is clean, it all operates perfectly. Make sure to look after your engines. 
That's all I got for you. Catch you guys later.